Okay, what are, why do we use arrays? <coughs> so basically, uh, arrays are an important data structure to hold data, okay, and Java allows to hold many objects of the same data type using arrays and it can be used with the help of a loop to access element of the index. First of all, why do we need to use arrays? Okay, let's say I have 100 students in the class. Okay, I have to, if I have to write their marks, right, if I don't have an array, then I need to declare 100 variables. Okay, so if I want to declare and I have to work on 100 variables. If I, this, if the number of students increased to 200, then I have to declare 200 variables. So it is, it is very, very difficult in the programming, right? So it is not dynamic, it is very it's static. To avoid such problems, they come up with arrays. So rather than, I will, this is not the syntax of Java, but I'm just writing. Okay, a subscript of 100, <coughs> that is 100 memory locate integers I am allocating and the name I am giving as A. This is how, this is how arrays came into the picture. Okay, let's look at how exactly arrays work. Now, arrays always, array index always starts with 0. That is, it is not, it is not, array always index starts from 0. It's like if we have a set of houses, okay, it is like if I have 100 houses, the house number starts from 1, but the in array, the array index, the house number starts from 0. Okay, that is what the index meant for. Okay, an array is a data structure which holds the sequential element of the same type, right? So if I declare one integer here, okay, I'm as I said before, I'm declaring hundred integers. Right? If I declare float, I'm declaring hundred floating numbers. That is. Okay, if I declare double there, so I am declaring 100 doubles, so it is of one single data type, okay. I am declaring one single data type of so many elements, okay. Now let's create an array for democratic party. Look at this, the array index starts from 0. As I said, if it is a house number, house number always starts from 1, but array always starts from 0. It is 4 because we have allocated five, L, 5 numbers, but it is ending at 4 because array index is starting from 0, 0 to 4 is 5, okay? Okay. Now, um, <coughs> This is how you declare arrays in Java. You will specify int name of the array, left brackets and right brackets equal to new, okay? Then which, da which data type you want to allocate, integer, and how many data types you, are, you want to allocate, sorry, how many number of integers you want to allocate. This is how you specify, okay? Alternatively, you can also specify like this, a equal to new int of 5. This is also possible, okay? This number need not be specified, okay, uh, in number, but you can say, you can, it can be a variable also, okay? So you can assign, you can read from a user saying that how many number of elements are there, Okay, and that many number of elements can be created as an array, right? Okay, see that is what is given here. Okay, int a equal to new int 5. Okay, this is the size of the array. This is the data type. This represents 
array. You can write like this on the square brackets before the array variable or you can specify after the array variable. See here, it starts from 0, the index the starts from 0 and 4 because it is 5 elements. Uh, this is what we are declaring the arrays, okay. Um, declaring the arrays continue. Okay, how do you declare arrays? I have already told you, but it is given in the presentation. I'll just go through it for you. Arrays can be declared for primitive or non-primitive data type. That means, right, there are uh, eight primitive data types. As I said, byte, short, int, long, float, double, character, boolean. These are the eight, you know, primitive data types. You can declare arrays for any primitive data type and you can declare the arrays for a non-primitive data types for any object. Like, you know, you'll be, we will be looking at objects in the next module. Okay? See, instead of declaring int a1, a2, a3 up to a100, I can we can declare it int a subscript of 100. It is fast and efficient to access an element in an array using the corresponding index without actually traveling through the entire array. Correct. Now, let's say if I want to access, okay, 90, uh, 90th student record, I will put it as a subscript of 89 directly I can go to that particular number rather than traversing from 0 1 2 3 4 like that directly you can reach right it is not like if I have 100 houses I have to cross all the 80 85 houses to reach 86 house no to reach 86 array index you can directly go to array subscript of 85 okay it is not sequential Okay, the size of the array is fixed. Here, you'll be looking at the size of the array is fixed. That's what it is. Okay, if I have four elements, that is five elements, I will be able to access till a subscript of four. After that, it throws an If you try to access, it throws an error saying that array index out of bounds exception. We'll be looking at exceptions in the next module again. Okay. So a character array of 10 characters can be declared as character square bracket ch equal to new character 10. So here I'm allocating 10 characters, okay? And, or I can say I'm declaring an array by name ch which, which has 10 characters. 10 characters are allocated to it, okay? Here if you try to use access index 6, then Java will throw an array index out of bounds exception. This means Java says I do not understand beyond index 4, okay? Okay, now there are two types of arrays. One is single dimension array, another one is multi-dimensional array. In the example I had given in the beginning that uses two dimensional array. It depends on how many dimensions I have for the data. If you look at the student's marks, it is one dimension, right? So, sorry, it is student name and if you want to store student name and student data mark, it is two dimensions. But I just want to store marks, right? Then it is single dimension, okay? See here, how you declare the arrays in single dimensional array? How do you declare the array in multi-dimensional array? Here, I am declaring A as an array and allocating five elements for multi-dimensional array. Okay, I am declaring int A two square brackets. Okay, for two-dimensional array I am mentioning. Okay, 
it, I have two dimensions, new, okay, A, okay, two rows and two columns. It acts like a matrix. Okay, okay, let me uh, show you this program. Uh, actually, uh, you uh, like you know you have to declare both the dimensions. <laughs> okay, Nilesh asked a question. If we don't know the number of, uh, um, yeah, uh, if we don't know the number of elements during the compilation or programming, can we assign or increase the value of array dynamically? <laughs> See, um, Nilesh, there is something called array list where it grows dynamically. You can use that rather than array if you wish to. Okay, uh, But for that, uh, like if you want to use array, you have to know how many number of elements are there. Okay, it is like an English is asking a question, is there any limit for storing the number of elements in a Java can contain? Okay, so it is based on the memory how much you can store. Okay, so it is it is not exactly like, you know, you can, you can store how much memory is available for you. Uh, Suresh is asking a question, how did you get the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc.? Uh, I did not get your question, Suresh. Okay, let me just look at the slide. Slide 20. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you are asking about uh, this numbers, right? Okay. See, these are like, you know, it is given as an example. For example, the value can contain this much. Okay. Okay, is it clear, Suresh? It is the value, but for example, it is what is given. Okay, let me show you this example. Right, Suresh is asking a question based on the statement here, all the uh, value should be zero, correct. So before you, it is like, it is like a, any other variable, right? If uh, by default the value should be assigned to zero, right? Rather than one element, we are, if we are allocating memory for 10 elements in the array, then we are getting, we are creating 10 integers, okay? And we are assigning it to zero, okay? Okay, this is how I initialize, I can initialize the array.
values. Okay, I will display all the values of the array. Now this will display the value from 10 to it will display array content 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Yes, here 10 array content is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Okay, the same thing. Okay. Okay, two dimension arrays, you can define like two dimensions, 